Ahoy, Almin here back with uh, another lesson. This is ADL, or we call it ADL or Albin de Leon Guitar uh, Academy. And we're talking about uh, the for beginners. It's the, the Complete Beginners Guitar Course, the Complete Beginners Guide. Um, and we, we finished with uh, uh, choosing your guitar holding your guitar, you know, the, the proper way of holding your guitar or the easiest way for you to hold the guitar and then now we're in uh, choosing picks or using the, the, the picks why picks? because this is the easiest way for you to start and play the guitar using a pick uh, doing the finger style is kinda hard, I want you to just start and enjoy playing the guitar so we will use the pick and I have some picks here I usually use the small ones. This is the stubby fix. It's quite fat and you know and small and pointed. I also have that one, the big one. I use that for acoustic when I do like uh, solos. And also I want to show you some picks that has like this one is like 1.2 millimeter and this one is like 2 millimeter and you know, it doesn't focus. There you go. But anyway two millimeter and then we have this one is one point two point four something see it's, it's uh, this one is point four to six that's good for you know like strumming to get that uh, that pick sound one point five dripping tricks lots of picks try them all and I sometimes you know I, I use them and uh, depending on the tone that I want to achieve Let's try to play the point four to six. Compared to like using a very thick pick, it's like warmer bassy. Choose the pick that you want to use. If you know Brian May, Brian May uses a, a, a what do you call this? A penny or something? A coin? You know, <laughs> as a pick. Now pick is the easiest way for you to play. I'll uh, teach you how to hold the pick. Uh, there are no like exact or correct way on holding the pick. You know, it can be uh, your way. If you know Marty Friedman, he holds the pick in a, uh, let's say an orthodox way. So it depends on what's easy for you. But what I'll give you today is like, the basic or what I use or what great guitar players uh, uh, do, you know, and like how they hold a pick. So I'll, I'll show it to you. It's as easy as uh, like doing a C shape on your right hand, curving it like that. Yeah, as you can see. And then I'll use a big pick, Jim Dunlop. Yeah. So I do it like this, as you can see. Show it to you. Yeah, put it on top of my index finger top of my index finger and I just drop my thumb as you can see curve put it like that you see it's balanced hopefully it will not fall and then put it on top and that's it, how you hold the pick and then you know you can already Play in again my position if you uh, remember. That's I hold I how I hold the pick. You know, you can uh, uh, experiment and you see it's balanced. It's not even falling, and I just curve my fingers, my hand, and put my thumb on top, and then. We can now then play. Now let's get on with the exercises that you can do. Once you know how to hold the pick already, it's time for us to do some exercises. Okay? You have to get used to uh, playing even without looking at the guitar. You know, it's like it has to be normal. Now I'm playing on the. 6th string, going to the 5th string, back to the 6th string, you know, even if you close your eyes, 5th string, 6th string, 5th string, 6th string, 4th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 2nd string, 1st string, like that. You have to get used to it. Why? 
because when you play guitar you cannot always look at you know at the right hand you can't always look at the string you need to also sometimes look at the fretting hand or the left hand so you have to get used to it it has to be like natural and it, uh, you can play it even without looking so these are the exercises that you uh, you can do I'll just yeah use the foot still there the first one is hold the pick and go to the the first string and just play four times on the first string so you can look at the at the string one two three four and what I'm doing there is just I'm just picking it down and don't worry about any angles or anything you just pick it like normally important is the position get your position down as you can see I'm sitting straight I want to show you that I'm sitting straight and if I look at the string I don't slouch I just go like this and then pick on the string you got that that's easy they one two three four you have to do it uh, down one two three four and then do it up one two three four so the, the down movement is as simple as down and then up movement simple as like up and I'm not I'm not using that much you know uh, movement it's like small movement just picking it down and picking it up guys it's not about how fast you can play it's about how good you can play always remember that I will always say that uh, on all the videos because we're focusing on playing and uh, honing or like training our techniques okay so just do that one you don't have to do you don't have to do that just slow one two three four and then up one two three four we get when you get used to it try not to look at the guitar and just do an exercise uh, we will not use a metronome for now uh, but later on we will use that because we're just starting out we're just uh, doing the basic exercise for you to get used with holding and using the pick so that's the first one then you go to the second string and do the same thing down 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 then up 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 go to the third string it's all about just getting used to the uh, pick and guitar and as you can see when you go up it's actually hard harder to, to play and what you have to do is actually move your arm a bit you don't you don't go like that you just move it a bit so that you can access the sixth string when I go down to the fifth string I move my arm a bit if you have this position if you have the classical position it's the same thing you have to move like that now when you're um, familiar with the holding the pick and doing all that exercises down 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 up 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 you can also try to just glide the string like glide the pick on the string like this even without the chord so you get you know a hold of that you know technique or movement when you do it like this this is like uh, moving it with with the arm um very, very different from you know this uh, the strumming this is the strumming i just want you to get used to doing this so that when you move from string to string it's actually easier for you comfortable for you to to do it you see that first string second string third string sixth string fifth string guys it's very important uh attention to details uh, if you get used to that movement it's all about muscle memory so if, if you're if you're used to doing something it's easy it's like this if you're walking do you even uh, think of like oh I'm walking I have to put my left hand I uh, left uh, foot oh I have to put my right foot I have to put you don't think because it's, it's natural it's what uh, you do and it's it's you started with like when you're a baby like crawling you know and then standing up running and everything and it's you know it's it's normal so that's what we want to achieve it's like normal for you you're not actually thinking about it and you're doing it so I hope that's clear and that's the reason why you have to do this and what you have to practice it don't rush on things because it will you know 
it, it's not good and it will destroy actually your technique. Um, uh, trust me on that because I, I had that and uh, it's not good. Okay, so the next one is uh, strumming. As you can see, like I said, it's very different. You use the arm when you when you strum. It's uh, the, the next uh, exercise is just doing this. So uh, as you can see, I'm just dropping, and it's it's from this movement. The other one is this because we need to go from first thing to sixth string. You get that, and this one is just this motion. As you can see, it's just going down, up, down, up. Okay. So and then. It doesn't matter if you just strum the guitar, you know, so just like this, and do you see the movement? And that's for the strumming. Why? It's important because you know, if you put chords already there. Now the practice is just dropping it down. See, I'm dropping it. I turn up the guitar because it's like so that you can hear it nicely. And then the up is that one. This is a very important exercise. What I'm doing there is like I'm just dropping my hand, sixth string to first string, and then putting it up from first string to sixth string. Easy? So that's the exercise for uh, the, the strumming. Next one I, I want to. Uh, uh, teach you is a picking exercise that you have to skip strings. Uh, let's say you're on the uh, sixth string and then you do down, 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 or up, 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 or down, up, down, up, doesn't matter. Make your own exercise and then skip the fifth string and go to the fourth string. Then go to the third string, I'm on the fourth string. I skip the third string, go to the second string, third string, and then first string. It's like I'm skipping uh, one string. And there's a reason for that, so that you know, you get used to the distance of the strings. Um, what I mean by that is like, the string, they all have the same distance from, from each other, right? So, we train our right hand to get the distance, the first string to the second string. And it's quite easy, it's like their neighbors. It's easy to actually play first string, second string, right? Now, when you go first string and third string, and that's a different story, because you have to skip one string, and the movement of the right hand is actually different. You have a smaller distance than first string, and let's say even first string going to fourth string, first string going to fifth string, and first string going to sixth string. As you can see, I'm not looking at the guitar and I'm playing the string because that's what I want you to achieve, to get used to the distance of the strings and using the pick on playing those strings. So exercises, um, the first one is just one string and then going from the first string to sixth string or going from sixth string to the first string and then you can do your uh, strumming, your movement, all of this. So we have uh, a lot of exercises for, uh, for this lesson and then you have to like skip strings. If I can put the, the exercises down on the student section, I will do it. But you can always ask questions on the students page and I will try my best to answer all your questions. So this is for the, the right hand uh, picking. It's an exercise that you have to do. I can say you have to do it a week or two. It doesn't matter if it takes you a month to do it. What's important is you get used to it. You, you close your eyes and you can easily play. Oh, this is the first string. Oh, this is the, third, the sixth string. With, with regards to like the guitar and the tuning, it's very important for you to play on tune because it's uh, training for, for the ears. So always tune your guitar when you play. So this is the lesson for uh, picking. We, uh, this is the third uh, lesson for the complete beginner's uh, guitar course, beginner guitar course. Stay tuned for the next lesson. The next lesson will be uh, how to play with the left hand. So see you in the next lesson. Ciao.